Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News at 7. And good Wednesday evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News at 7 on WYOU. I'm Nick Toma. And I'm Candace Kelly. All right, we are at the very start of a major winter storm all across the Commonwealth, and we've got crews fanned out all across the region. But let's get started with Chief Meteorologist Josh Hodel. He joins us now from the Weather Center with the latest. Josh. Oh, well, hello there, Nick and Candace. We have about another 10 to 12 hours to go before we start wrapping this storm up. But that said, we still have a lot of heavier snow to get through. Uh, we're watching this over the last couple of hours. We've been in and out of light, moderate, even heavy snow. As we get into tonight, we'll start to see that snow pick up a little bit. In fact, it's coming down at a pretty good pace right now through parts of central Pennsylvania, just around Williamsport. Uh, these are rates of about 5 to 10 inches an hour from Williamsport to parts of uh, Sullivan and Columbia counties. And some of that even drops a little bit farther south into Schoolkill County. This does not mean you're going to get 5 to 10 inches of snow in the next hour. That's how fast it's coming down. But at the same time, these snow bands are also moving. So that keeps those numbers in check. 20 right now in Lehighton. It's a little hard to see. Uh, we have the snow coming down at a nice pace, at least a moderate snow here. Visibility is reduced. The wind is a little gusty. We're having wind gusts in the upper 20s right now, and that will continue. Moderate snow continues this evening. Overnight, there's a potential for really heavy snow, one, two, three inches an hour. Perhaps even thunder snow at your house. This all comes to an end between 6 and 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Use the Eyewitness Weather app. Track this storm tonight in real time with us. Interactive radar is there. Nick and Candace will check on this radar again and let you know what to expect tomorrow morning. I'll see you soon. All right, Josh, thanks. You know, our reporters, they have been out all day long checking weather conditions, and there are several crashes right now. I-80 East is closed in Luzerne and Columbia County, starting at exit 242, the Mifflinburg, due to a crash there. So let's start with a look at what's happening right now in Luzerne County. Eyewitness News reporter Annie Mahalshik has been out there all night in Sugarloaf with the latest on that one. Andy? Hey, good evening, Nick and Candace. And as Josh talked about in his forecast, you can see the wind has been picking up. It's uh, getting more intense. The snow coming down very heavy. Uh, let me tell you where we are. We're on top near Interstate 81 and Route 93. This is the top of the Cunningham Sugarloaf Valley. We can step out of the way. This is Route 93 looking toward that police light, the car. A car got stuck coming up the mountain because it was it's that slippery and the snow was just uh, too hard to overcome for that car. So that's a Sugarloaf Township police officer uh, making sure that car does not get hit. Now, I can tell you, Interstate 81 and Route 93 are open and passable, but very treacherous indeed. Now, you look again. This is Route 93 at the intersection of Interstate 81 at the West Hazelwood exit, Route 145. We saw numerous cars here unable to make it up to 93 Mountain here that leads from the Cunningham Sugarloaf Valley into West Hazelwood and Hazelton. And without a doubt, people in this general area are doing what they can to deal with the snow. The snow fell intensely and steadily in McAdoo, Schuylkill County, Wednesday afternoon. Road crews are trying to stay ahead of the storm. What I want them to know is to uh, definitely operate by the snow band. Alleys are very important because emergency vehicles can't get down there. If there's a car in the alley, we can't get through. We won't go through because they're hitting something. And if an ambulance has to get through there, we need accessibility to get through there. And McAdoo does not take a back seat when it comes to snowfall accumulations. Things are going to get tough if, uh, you know, we're getting two, three inches an hour. Uh, the thing I fear the most is a breakdown of a vehicle or a piece of equipment, which puts me behind. And then once you fall behind, it's almost impossible to catch back up. Burrow snowplow drivers say they never underestimate snowstorms and what residents to help them out. They can definitely help out by if their neighbors parked on the road and they see that they're on the wrong side, maybe knock on their door and remind them that it's a snow ban. Once again, roadways are open and passable, but very treacherous indeed from our viewpoint. You're looking live here on Route 93. This is the top of the Cunningham Sugarloaf Mountain. This is near the top of Ye's restaurant near the intersection of Route Interstate 81. And again, snow picking up, up uh, all across the area. My colleague is out. Uh, Caroline Forback is in Stroudsburg, Monroe County with a look at conditions out there. Hey, Caroline. 
Yes, Andy, I'm here on Main Street in Stroudsburg. And I'll step out of the way so you can see what the roads are looking like downtown. Snow plows have come through about every 10 minutes or so, but the snow just keeps coming down. You can see it accumulating on the road here. Now, road conditions throughout Monroe County are quickly deteriorating. This is what the turnpike looked like around 3 p.m. PennDOT trucks were out in full force, and cars started sliding, and a few pulled over when we got on I-80 East towards Stroudsburg around 4. Now, getting off the highway, Pocono Township had already declared a snow emergency and urged residents to stay off the roads. This was 611 in neighboring Stroud Township just before 5. How are the conditions? They're slick. Yeah, it's icing up. Even after they plow, it's kind of slippery afterwards. Right. A lot of your hills. Uh, you know, when it gets icy, roads got major hills on them. That's where you see a lot of problems. Now, conditions are expected to get worse as the night goes on. Most businesses closed around 4 this afternoon, and we've seen utility trucks on standby. Monroe County 911 only reporting minor accidents so far. Meteorologist Logan Westrope is in Schuylkill County. He picks up the story from there. Logan. Hey, good evening, Caroline, and we are here in Mahanoy City in Schuylkill County. Earlier, we were trying to get down towards Possible, but the, obviously the roads conditions were uh, deteriorating as we were heading down Interstate 81 South. You can see we, uh, my uh, cameraman here, Colin, is going to send or show you a little view here out on the street. This is Route 54 East Center Street here in downtown Mahanoy City. You can see the snow is still falling at a rapid pace, and we are going to continue to see those heavy snow bands moving in as we go throughout tonight. Visibility is down to around a half mile or less. We've seen the winds gusting as well up to around 20, 25 miles per hour. So we are continuing to still see the snow. This is just the beginning stages of this. We're still looking for those heavier snow bands to move in as we go throughout tonight. Now I wanted, I brought my ruler out. We have the yardstick still into the car, but it's still pretty early. So we're going to use the ruler right now. I'm going to take you over here where we have some un, uh, untouched snow here and kind of measure what's going on here. So we put it around here about six inches so far. Let's do another reading here about six inches so yeah not the best surface but just just give you a general idea that we are still seeing that significant snow moving through we have about a half foot here of snow here on the ground now you're going to want to stay with us here on eyewitness news you can find more by visiting our website at pahomepage.com and always a great idea to download the eyewitness weather app as we go throughout tonight we're going to keep you posted here live as we go throughout this evening Logan freezing up there a little bit. Uh, boy, half a foot already. Wow. wow this is going to be a long night. Mm -hmm. Logan, thank you. Lots of roads to clear in Scranton. Of course, that's Northeast Pennsylvania's largest city. More than 265 miles of road that extends all throughout Scranton, in addition to those smaller courts and alleyways. Yeah, 16 plows are on the road, clearing snow and putting some rock salt down. With all that road to cover, crews, they're scheduled to work around the clock through the storm. The DPW director asks people to be patient and stay off the roads. Road conditions, of course, are a big concern, and so is air travel. As several flights were canceled today out at Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport in Avoca. Flights tomorrow morning have already been canceled. Eyewitness News had the opportunity to see exactly how crews clear the tarmac for planes to try to land. The crews trying to stay ahead of the storm by clearing the way there. They expect to be back to a normal flight schedule sometime tomorrow afternoon. Okay, first COVID-19 and then this snowstorm. So how much can the restaurant business handle? Good question. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy finds out how the restaurants are coping. Last week, Governor Wolf put out a three-week ban on indoor dining. Restaurants are left with only being able to provide outdoor dining or takeout over the holiday season. Mix that with a snowstorm and businesses are in for a little trouble. But it's not all bad news. The Westmoreland Club in Wilkesbury has six space cubes that can stay up during the storm. Right, they have a steel frame construction, so they're able to hold up in even heavy snow. Restaurants that have igloos or space cubes are excited about the snow, even though they have to close tonight for the storm. There's just going to be a beautiful winter wonderland effect after that's all over with all of the snow piled high the holiday lights and the 25 foot tree. We're looking forward to seeing what that all ends up looking like. The Cork Bar and Restaurant has a similar setup with tents and igloos. They are all packed up for the storm, but the owner tells Eyewitness News the igloos can stay up. 
Igloos like these can withhold up to 100 pounds of snow. The restaurant will monitor the igloos throughout the storm. Restaurants only able to provide takeout and delivery during the indoor dining ban are also taking a hit with the storm right before the holidays. A lot of uh, gatherings have been canceled. All my caterings got canceled. So it's just another, um, you know, another hit to the heart, another hit to the pocketbook that, you know, in this holiday season. Franco's plans to close early Wednesday night and plans to open up on Thursday at 4 o'clock, giving plenty of time for the roads to get cleared. In Wilkesbury, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News. Still to come on Eyewitness News at 7 tonight, the word pandemic has a new honor tonight. And a vivid example of why you really need to take it easy on the roads in the snow tonight. Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News at 11. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nick Toma. And I'm Candace Kelly. A massive winter storm blankets our region with snow, and we're not even close to being done. And our live team coverage continues tonight with crews all across the region. Let's begin with Chief Meteorologist Josh Hodel at the Weather Center and the latest on the storm. Josh? All right, Nick and Candace, thank you so much. We're about halfway through, six, eight more hours to go, and then and we'll be done. This snow is pretty intense. Take a look at this radar. It's coming at us like it has been all day from the south and from the west. We have bands of heavy snow that are putting down inches and inches of snow in a short amount of time. Central Pennsylvania showing some of the heaviest snow right now. These are snowfall rates. You'll notice it's at about five to 10 inches per hour in spots. Doesn't mean you're going to get 10 inches of snow in an hour. These bands are moving and that's why these accumulations tend to be a little less than what the rates are indicating. Across parts of northeastern Pennsylvania, we're pretty much in the same situation here. Snow bands across Wayne, Susquehanna, Wyoming, Lackawanna, and Pike counties, anywhere between five and 10 inches per hour. And we've already seen a lot of snow. Mildred and Sullivan County, 18 inches. Picture Rocks, 11. Sweet Valley, 10. Wyalusing, 7. Clark Summit, 6. Moderate to heavy snow will continue tonight, coming down at 1, 2, 3 inches an hour. We had reports of thunder snow near Johnstown. That is possible here tonight. Sleet is mixing in across parts of southern and central Pennsylvania, but as it starts to get colder towards morning, I think that sleet goes away and it's all snow. Speaking of tomorrow morning, that's when it comes to an end between 6 and 10 o'clock. The rest of Thursday looks pretty good for shoveling and digging out of this big snowstorm. Remember, track this storm in real time with us right now and tomorrow morning on the Eyewitness Weather app. Plus, you can send us your storm reports and your pictures. Download it. Get it on your cell phone. Nick and Candace, another check on this radar in 15 minutes. I'll see you then. Well, this is a big storm. All right, Josh, thank you. And road conditions pretty much just terrible out there with a lot of wrecks on the highways. And that includes a massive pileup in Clinton County that killed two people. Eyewitness News reporter Julie Dunphy joins us in the studio with the details. Julie? Nick Candace, police say at least two people are dead after 30 to 60 vehicles were involved in a crash on Interstate 80 in Clinton County. Pennsylvania State Police said initial reports indicate there are also multiple injuries. The crash happened around 3 p.m. today between the Loganton and Lockhaven exits. We've been working to get a crew out there, but it is just too dangerous at this hour. All lanes are closed right now between the I-180 interchange in Northumberland County and the Lockhaven exit. PennDOT officials tell Eyewitness News the road conditions in central Pennsylvania have been difficult to maintain. Well, the road conditions all day have been somewhat challenging uh, since the first major snowfall that we've seen uh, this year and in some time. The best thing that we can tell folks is if you don't need to travel, please stay home. If you have traveled, it's absolutely necessary. Please use 511-PA to plan your trip ahead and please drive according to road and weather conditions. PennDOT expects the roadway to reopen after sunrise tomorrow morning, but they are still urging everyone to stay off of the roads. Reporting in the studio, Julie Dunphy, Eyewitness News. 
Many of our communities will likely wake up to a lot more snow. Let's get a check on the current conditions outside right now. Meteorologist Stefano DiPietro joins us live outside our studios in Wilkesbury with an update. Stefano? Uh, hey there, Nick and Candace. And as of right now, actually here in downtown Wilkesbury, we're right along Franklin Street. We've actually switched over to a little sleep, but like Josh was hinting at, as we go through the night tonight, get closer to daybreak tomorrow, as that temperature drops, we'll expect this to change back over to snow and tack on some of those totals. Now, right now in Franklin Street, road crews came through not that long ago. The road has been cleared for the most part, but anything that has packed down over the last couple of hours is really going to be tough to clear. So that's why those slick spots are still going to be an issue through the night tonight going into that morning commute tomorrow when we add the sleet component little ice mixing in that's only going to make travel conditions even a little bit tougher through that morning commute tomorrow but the cleanup shouldn't be all that bad because this snow is actually a pretty fluffy consistency for the most part this isn't that heavier snowfall that you have to really put your legs into it when you try to clear the driveway in the morning it's a fluffier snowfall so that should certainly help out even if we have that snow blower to help things along but as we go through the night tonight we still have six to eight hours to go like josh was saying so nick and candace a lot more snow expected to come before it tapers off tomorrow morning all right, Stefano, thank you. And dangerous winter weather slams northeastern PA, shutting down major highways. Our crews were out as state police helped disable vehicles and plows try to keep up with the snowfall. Caroline Forback is live now with the latest on the roads. Caroline. Candace, I'm live here in Scranton, but we started out in Monroe County earlier today where some townships had already declared snow emergencies this morning. We saw conditions get worse and worse throughout the evening. Snow started coming down just before 3 Wednesday afternoon and has been steadily accumulating on the roads all day. Too fast for plows to keep up. Well, how are the conditions? They're slick. Yeah, it's icing up. Even after they plow, it's kind of slippery afterwards. Right. A lot of your hills, uh, you know, when it gets icy, the roads got major hills on them. That's where you see a lot of problems. This was downtown Stroudsburg around 7 p.m. The highways completely empty, Interstates 80 and 380. The only cars in sight were the ones that slid off the road. Other than that, just state police and snow plows. All commercial vehicles were banned at this time. Many of them hunkered down at truck stops like this one in Gouldsboro. The speed limit was reduced to 45 miles per hour. At 9 p.m., emergency notifications alerted people to get off the road and seek shelter. The safest way to be out in the snow, bundle up and walk. So we're like, let's just bundle up and like get some steps in. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and there's like, like nobody around. Yeah, yeah it's so like a Christmas movie. Just, yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. I don't And road conditions are expected to get worse throughout the night. For now, reporting live here in Scranton, Caroline Forbach, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Caroline. Okay, take a look at this time lapse of Scranton from our eyewitness weather cameras. You can see how quickly the conditions change from clear skies this morning and early afternoon to nearly whiteout conditions. The storm began blanketing the region with snow late this afternoon. Amazing how fast things turn there. That's a great piece of video. All right, as the snowfall continues to fall all across our region, state and local authorities urge people not to travel unless it's absolutely necessary. The I-Team's Andy Mahalschik reports live tonight from Luzerne County with more on that side of the story. Andy? Well, Nick and Ken, you're talking about the time-lapse photography from Scranton. I can tell you, about 12.30, the snow started falling here in Sugarloaf Township. We're near Route 93, about 12.30, and intensified throughout the day. And uh, Stefano was talking about the mix of sleet and freezing rain. We do, do feel some sleet here on Route 93 on top of the mountain near West Hazelden. This is Route 93 you see behind me, near the access to Interstate 81 at the junction of 81 and Route 93. You can see the road is open and passable, but it's still very treacherous. That truck got stuck trying to pull into the parking lot of the Hampton Inn where many people are here staying now getting off the roadways. Without a doubt guys, roads at this point can be described as treacherous with a capital T. And the snow has been falling steadily all day in this part of Luzerne County. We have seen traffic moving but very slowly in this part of the area. PennDOT trucks have been working the area all night long trying to stay ahead of the storm. We can tell you for sure people in this area have been doing their best to deal with the snow. In fact, a number of people got off the highways to safety at the Hampton Inn located just off Route 93 and I-81. 
Jeff Milton from Kentucky works at a business near Hazelton. Well, I don't have far to go, so uh, and I have a four-wheel drive pickup, so I, I won't have any problem getting back and forth to work. But I'm sure a lot of people will. Now, again, we have seen numerous vehicles over the last four or five hours here on Route 93. That road will take you down into the Cunningham Sugarloaf Valley. Trucks and cars are being stuck here all night long, just as this truck was trying to pull into the Hampton and parking lot. Again, the best advice, as the authorities are saying, don't travel unless you absolutely have to. But again, take your time. As Stefano and Josh are talking about, there seems to be a little bit of lonely action on the snow. We're seeing some uh, sleet coming down. But again, uh, the roadways are not getting any better, any faster, anytime soon. Reporting live on Route 93 in Sugarloaf Township in Luzerne County, Andy Bohalshik, Eyewitness News. All right, Andy, thank you very much. Just into Eyewitness News, firefighters are working a fire in Tamaqua right now. Yeah, firefighters there confirm there are multiple homes involved, but everyone was able to get out without any injuries. Crews are having a hard time, they say, getting it under control. We're going to continue to monitor the story, and we'll bring you the very latest as we get it. That heavy snow is hitting us from Monroe County to Lycoming County. Of course, that includes Williamsport as well. Next up on Eyewitness News, how road crews are hoping to get a handle on clearing the streets, including the popular downtown area. AJ? Well, Nick and Candace, despite this winter storm, it was actually a meaningful day in the sports world, too. Several local high school football players officially signing their letters of intent to play at the next level and committing to some pretty big schools. I'll have that story in just a bit, but first, now to the man of the hour, Josh Odell. Oh, so nice of you. Thank you, but I don't deserve it. And we're taking a look at the snow across Pennsylvania tonight. A little bit of sleet across eastern PA. I'll let you know what to expect first thing in the morning. Your forecast in 10 minutes on Eyewitness News.